Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by and do consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. So now in today's video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes for a breakdown about how I created a cosmetic or a makeup ad for these two products right here. So today, this is what I'm going to be shooting and I'm just going to take you behind the scenes um, about how I created this video. Okay, so if you want to see how that was done, you know, stick around for the rest of this video. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to create a spec ad. Now, a spec ad is really a concept that you have in mind and that you want to experiment or that you want to bring to life. And the reason behind why I chose this particular product to use um, for the concept is because it's pretty. That's, that, that is it. It's pretty. I, I love the design. I love the aesthetic of it. Just love the look. Um, and and it's, there's nothing to it more than that. And I feel like this would, you know, definitely play well or do justice to what I'm about to create. So without further ado, let's get right into the behind the scenes about how we created this video. All right. So I've got my slider system right here. Um, it's, the, it's the Rhino slider just the short rail, the short carbon rail. And I'm attaching this to the upright with um, two super clamps right here. Now, this is the first shot that I'm doing, which is going to be the last shot in the video. And that is because I wanna get the hero shot of the products um, in their best condition, because as I go through the shoot, I'm gonna be doing different things with them that may damage the, the, the product or, or the, the packaging. In some way, it might. Or it might not but um, to be on the safe side I want to get the hero shot which comes at the end I want to get that first because I only have one copy of, of each product so I can't afford to you know I mean damage them this early in the game so this is the setup I'm setting up the the slider or, or, or the crane shot under the parallax for this and let's have a look over here so essentially this is the setup right here Right, so we have a background, which is a black foam core board. I'm using a black table, and then I'm really playing on the aesthetic of the product. So the, the product is quite dark and moody. That's, that's, that's the feel that I'm getting from it. You don't have to, you can go in a total opposite direction. This is just um, the way I feel about this one today. So I've got the product sitting here. Um, they're sitting on a little mirror, so I'm getting a bit of reflection. And behind here, we have the bag. So this is the bag that the cosmetics come in and I'll bring you on a close up on this one to show you what's going on with this. All right, so as I just said, we've got both of the products here. Yeah, they're, they're lip gloss. So the two different colors of lip gloss we have here. And this is the bag that came with it, right? And we have a little mirror here. So, you know, just things like making sure that the mirror is smudge free and fingerprint free when you're working with shiny and reflective surfaces is, is super important to make sure that, you know, every little detail is, is kind of looked after. Anyway, let's come to the bag. So this bag kind of played into my, my hands today. Um, the way it was designed is that it's, it's got, um, it's black and it's got transparent cutout. Now, so these lights are the Aperture MC and, and I've got four of these and you can set these to any color that you want. So you can also control these via an app. You can change the color, turn them on and off. And I managed to fit two of them inside of this bag, which actually worked perfectly. Now things work out like that sometimes and sometimes you have to be a little bit more inventive. So what I've set this to do is to change from two colors. So I'm changing from purple to pink, and that's just the colors of my choice. And I just set the intensity and the colors that I want, and I hit run, and voila, there we have it. So that produces such a nice and pleasing background for me for this particular shot. So right at the end of this shot where the crane comes down 
and it's now pointing directly at the product, I want to bring an additional light just to light up the face of these, right? So I'm using this light right here and it's on a turntable. And at the end of the shot, that is just gonna come in and just illuminate the front, as we can see right here, that's what it's doing. However, what that is also doing is affecting my background. So it's throwing some light over there that I don't really want. So I'm gonna try to flag this somehow to stop any, uh, any spillage on the background and anywhere in the frame that I don't want that to illuminate. Yeah, so just a little hole where I can control that light a little bit better so I don't have it spilling too much on either side. So what I wanna do for this next shot is to rotate the product whilst it's sitting on the mirror. I don't wanna use a regular turntable because um, that moves a bit too slow and it's only mo it only moves at one speed. And what I'm gonna do doesn't allow me to speed it up in post-production because there's another element to this, not just the, um, the spinning of the product. All right, so for this shot, what I'm gonna do is spin this and I'm gonna drop some uh, gold leaf. Now, this has two flavors. This one is a gold one, and this one is kind of a, a rouge, I, I suppose, um, reddish. Yeah, a reddy one. I don't know the actual color. But um, this one is gold, so I'm gonna be doing something to do with gold with this one. So right here, I have some, um, my days, this thing is messy. So the idea is, I'm gonna drop these and I'm gonna turn this. So if we find the start. So I'm gonna drop them from all the way up at the top. So I'm gonna drop them from all the way up here so they get some nice air, I think, as it comes down. And I'm gonna obviously spin this the fastest that it's gonna go. Um, and see what happens. So here it goes. So I'm gonna drop. Okay. Oh, uh, that that is the. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know about that. It may or may not work. Let's come over here to the lighting. So I have two lights here. One at the top and one just at the bottom pointing into the product, right? So the one at the top, as we can see look, at the top, is providing that little glow at the top triangle. So it's, it's doing a really good job of that. It's also kind of shining some light down onto the mirror. So that's gonna act as a, as a bounce as well, as a reflective surface for when I start putting down these uh, golden flakes right here. Okay, so for this shot right here, we're gonna do some green screening or some blue screening in this case. I don't know, but blue is just my preferred color. I'm not sure exactly why, but obviously if I'm shooting something blue, then I won't be using a blue color. Okay, so it's day two of this shoot and I'm back in the studio this morning. Now, I'm gonna continue with the green screen shots and had a couple of ideas overnight. So the next thing that I wanna do is make the cap rotate and just make the lid uh, screw off on its own. So I'm gonna attempt to do that um, right now. And that's the next shot that we're gonna be doing for this blue screen setup. So right now I'm sitting here and I've gotta be as still as possible because I don't really want anything moving or shaking around. So this is the position where I'm gonna be. It's gonna take a little while. It's gonna require a little bit of patience. And I've got my uh, my monitor here so I can see the progress and I'm see exactly what, I, what it is that I'm doing. Right, so this setup right here is for the macro shot. This macro shot, I'm really tight in on, on the product. So as you can see here, the lights, I mean, you move these any further and then you lose, you lose everything. So it's a really tight shot. So I'm able to bring the lights all the way in and I'm at F9 at the moment. And what I'm using for the background for this macro shot here, right here, is just this background so it's a, a digital background on my ipad so you can see now there's no background it's black it's dark and if i just tap that bring the light back in you can see we have our background back and you can do anything with it so you can make this any color that you really want and you can bring it up as close or as far so depending on how close this background is to the product so if i were to bring this ipad up here let's just try that if I were to bring this background close, you can see the background gets a lot more defined 
so it's a lot less blurry as I, as I bring it forward. So let's stick, bring it back here because that's kind of where I want it. I want it to be blurred out a little bit. So it's sitting nicely here in the background. As you can see, I have a little bit of a, um, I have a reflection from this light on here. So I'm just going to tilt this slightly to get that reflection out of the way. And there we have the shot right here. And what I'm going to do with this shot right now is just play a little bit with the light. So at least there's motion. There's going to be some motion in, in, in this shot. So it's not, it's not just a photograph, you know, um, or, or a picture. It's actually a moving image. And so to make that a reality, we're just going to move this light right at the top there. Okay, so for this shot, what we have here, let's see what we have here. We have three light. This is a three light setup. So if I just show you this right here, we have one light. Let me just turn that off. So that light is underneath. It's under underneath my plexi tray. And we have a couple of layers of diffusion and a red gel under there. That's why we get in the red light. So over here, in the second light, this is a waterproof light. So it's currently sitting in, in the water. So that's fine. And that's just illuminating. Let's have a look here. If we can focus there, yeah. That's just giving you that bit of glow right there. Without that, that would be really dark. And then at the top, this is just lighting up the top of this for the shot. So we just lighting up right at the top there. And this is a color RGBWW. So this is a color LED and we have a pink light coming out from that one there. So moving back for the rest of the setup, we have um, the probe lens. So we're using the probe lens on here and that's going to give us a nice uh, wide macro view. So that's going to give us a nice wide angle macro view as we slide forwards on the slider. So we're going to set up the move to slide and then that's going to capture the shot. So for this shot, we're using the probe lens and we're actually moving through a landscape. We're moving through a landscape of flowers. And again, I'm using the colors of the flower to my advantage for this particular flavor. These aren't, you know, actual ingredients of, but the colors are the representation of the color of the product. We're on a bed of flowers right here. We're in a sea of flowers and we're about to drop this inside at 120 frames per second. But uh, let's just spritz up these uh, flowers a little bit. Put a little bit of life into them if you, if you get my drift. And then we go from there. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is to emulate the inside of this tube. So internally what happens? So we have the applicator brush or sponge at the tip of this and inside there is where the, the uh, actual product is. So I want to emulate the inside of this bit as the brush comes out. So I want to show that motion internally. So this is gold. This is a gold one. It's, it's got a gold glitter effect to it. And so what I'm trying to simulate over here is the inside of that. So I've got a few things that I'm trying here to make up a concoction. And that way the glass is going to be the inner tube for that product. Okay, for this setup, what we have lighting wise is one light underneath. So we have a, the LED panel just under here. So we have the probe lens sitting inside there. And then we're gonna use the slider I'm gonna to have to do this manually. Okay, so that's a wrap on day two of filming this video. So we got quite a lot done within the two days. Um, Cause if you look at it, like every shot has to be set up technically wise, you know, with the equipment and everything. And then the product has to be prepped. And then you're gonna have a few failed attempts of whatever it is that you're trying to do. Not even failed attempts, but just a matter of tweaking. So you, you, you do the shot and then you be like, okay, so, I need to add a little bit more light in here. I need to move this around a bit. Maybe we can add a bit more spice to this, whatever the case is. And so that one shot becomes, you know, a little bit longer in the, in the long run. Okay, buddy, that's enough now, mate. You're milking it and you look tired. Go and have a rest.
All right, guys, so that was the behind the scenes. That was the look at the behind the scenes, a very sort of detailed breakdown onto how I created this video. If there's any questions about any other processes or any of the equipment that I've used in this video, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Let me know about your thoughts about the video in general. Um, let me know what your favorite shot was. Definitely let me know what your favorite shot was. Definitely make sure that you follow me over on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that you can know when I drop new content. But that is it for today. Um, stick around to the end for a couple of bloopers. But other than that, peace and I'll see you guys on the next one. Right, so now we have a bed of Right, so now we have a bed of... Wow. Just when I had everything just right there. That's how shit happens. <laughs> Yo. The light, just, the light just died. The light just died on me. Mm. But the idea is with this is that I'm going to reverse that in post. So it looks, it looks as if... Yeah. You get the idea. Oh my days. This is nasty.